If you want to be a great Microsoft Excel user, you got to know how to use formulas. In this video, I'm going to cover basic formulas, cell references, and absolute cell references. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Don't forget to download the data linked at the top of the description so you can work along with me. Once you have the data downloaded, come over here to the tab labeled cells numbers. And here we are going to look at some cells data and we want to find out some information, including the number of cells, total volume, and average cell. Before we get to filling out these cells commissions, as well as these number of cells, let's start with very basic formulas. Using Microsoft Excel, not only are we able to use the built-in formulas created by Excel, but we can also add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So to start off any formula, we'll start it with either a plus or an equal sign. I usually start with an equals because that's just how I learned it. And let's say for some reason we want to multiply this first cell by three. We can just click right here on the cell and then we can use this asterisk to multiply and then we will hit a three to multiply it by three, hit enter, and there we go. Similarly, if we wanted to change from multiplication to a division, we could change the asterisk to a slash, and then if we wanted to add, we could change it to a plus sign, and then if we wanted to subtract, we could change it to a minus sign. As we can see in our formula, we are referencing a cell called D3. This is referencing the cell that is located in column D in row 3. And as you would expect, this is called a cell reference, and this tells Microsoft Excel what cell we are trying to manipulate. Now let's move on to filling in the information for our number of cells, total volume, average cell, and our cell commission for each one of these cells. Starting with the number of cells, whenever I hear that we want a number of something, that clues me in that we want to use a count, and lucky for us, Excel has a built-in count formula. So as we would start off any formula, we'll start it with a plus or an equal sign. And to use the count formula, we will just do equals count, C-O-U-N-T, and then an open parenthesis. All we have to do is click on the top cell and then drag over the remaining cells in the range and hit enter. And now we can see that there are 10 cells in our data set. Next, we want to find the total volume of cells, and in this context, we basically want to find the total dollars sold among all of the cells in our table, and to do that, we are going to use the sum formula. Similar to the count formula, all we have to do is do an equal sign and then type SUM and then an open parentheses, and then we'll just select our range of cells and hit enter. And now we can see that our total volume of cells is $407,995. Last thing we want to do is find our average cell amount. And you guessed it, to do this, we will do an equal sign. And then we will just type average, if we can spell that right, in an open parenthesis. Now we just come over here again and select all of our data, hit enter. And now we have our average cell. And if we click on one of these formulas we used, just like how before we had a cell reference when we were subtracting or adding three to this top cell, now we have cell references to a range of cells right here. So if we were to add to this, we could just come up here. So let's go ahead and add to this right now. And we'll say this is cell number 465 and it is for $40,000. We could just come right here and change this 12 to a 13. And now we have the number of cells as being 11. Now, because I don't want this cell in here, I'm just going to select this row and click delete to delete that whole row. And this changed it back to 10. Now, the last thing we want to do is find the cells commission. And to do that, we want to multiply the cell by the commission percentage to get whatever the commission is for that cell. So to do that, we will start with an equal sign and then we'll select the cell and then we will do the asterisk because again, that means multiplication and then we'll select our commission rate and then hit enter. Now we can see that the sales commission for this cell number 342 is $1,510.56. However, if we try to drag down this cell to all of these other different cells, we can see that it doesn't work. And that is because we didn't use an absolute cell reference. So once we move down to this cell, it is trying to reference G4 instead of G3. And obviously there's nothing here. So if you multiply anything times nothing, that is going to equal zero. 
So let's go ahead and undo that and let me tell you a little bit about an absolute cell reference. An absolute cell reference makes it whenever we copy cells or drag them down, it will keep referring to the same cell we did in the original formula. And all we have to do to insert an absolute cell reference is put a dollar sign before the G as well as a dollar sign before the three. Now, if we go ahead and drag these down, it will multiply each cell by that 12%. So now it works and now we have the cell commission for every single cell in our table. A way that you can more quickly insert an absolute cell reference is to click in the cell that you are referencing. So I just put my cursor right in the middle and then I'm gonna hit on my Windows computer function F4 and that automatically will insert an absolute cell reference. Anyway, I hope this video helps. If you didn't already, be sure to go download the data so that you can try this on your own and check your answers against mine. A lot of learning Microsoft Excel or really anything is just building off the basics. So you wanna be sure you're very good with working with these basic formulas before you move on to more complex formulas as well as other complex functions in Microsoft Excel. And if you wanna become a data analyst or an expert Excel user, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.